It's a country that is not short of cultural symbolism and French influence on the world, be it their architecture, food or fashion, is taken very seriously here. So much so that there is a campaign underway to have another French symbol given global recognition. UNESCO has an intangible benefit list. It's where a custom, a craft, a tradition is given protected status. And in the past, they've recognized yoga, flamenco, and even Slovenian lace making. And this may be next, the humble French baguette. To use a French word, this loaf is not a cliche. The baguette traditionnelle is seen as an essential part of daily life in France. Around six million a day are sold and consumed. The first errand that we send a child on is to go buy a baguette from a bakery. So it is really etched into our culture. We owe it to ourselves to protect these habits, as well as these quality products, so that our children and our grandchildren can have the same pleasure of eating a delicious baguette. It first appeared in various forms in the 18th century, before being given an official name a hundred years ago. A French law actually decrees the loaf should have a minimum weight of 80 grams and a maximum length of around 40 centimeters. And it's taken very seriously by those who bake them. Here we can see cream colored inside with pockets everywhere with a very shiny inside. With the mask, you can't smell it, but the aroma is excellent. It's crunchy, so we have done everything to make a great traditional baguette. Bakers say recognition would acknowledge a skill that's been passed down through generations and protect the French baguette from imposters around the world. Yes, for every meal, it's a classic. It's a pride. It's a part of France. I think it's a typical French product. And I can't have last a day without a baguette. And I think it's great for it to be recognized as our heritage. There's competition, however, to be the French candidate for this award, with a strong push for the Parisian skyline. More precisely, the craftsmanship of the grey zinc-plated rooftops, featured in the paintings of Cézanne and Van Gogh. We have no evidence that President Macron eats a baguette for breakfast, but he will choose which cultural treasure goes forward to UNESCO, and he has an election next year. So if he wants to butter up the voters, going traditional and choosing the baguette may be a smart move. Francis Collings, TRT World, Paris.